we just suffered some technical <laughs> difficulties in between episodes, but we're back, ready to talk about all kinds yeah. of scuff fandoms. Hey, what's hey, what's your favorite <laughs> fandom? What's your favorite fandom? Leave them in the comments below, and we'll read them <laughs> eventually. Hell yeah. I Eventually, we'll get there, but we'll read them. I don't know. All right, well, that's a good question. What is your favorite fandom to just, like, uh, observe? Maybe not one that you were personally Ooh. in. But... My favorite one to observe. Okay, you know what? That's a good one. Um, I don't think I have an I answer often that. do... I think I often like to observe, like, I am part of this. I do like to often observe the My Hero fandom. Obviously, that's currently renowned as, like, you know, the fandom that all the young kids are part of that's, yeah. like, super weird and yeah. shit. It's the, um, it's the, it's the hot like, new I like shonen of the moment. Kind of like, exactly. I do kind of like to observe it and, like, compare it to some of the other, like, really weird fandoms from, like, years ago. Yeah. Um, because a lot of people will be like, oh, my hero, the My Hero fandom sucks. Oh, they're so weird, you know, like, kids yeah. leashes, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, it <laughs> does <laughs> suck. <laughs> but no, no, sorry, clearly, you just, you've never you heard. Just say kids on leashes? Did you just. Yes, have you not, have you not heard about the My Hero cosplayers I'm... that, like, wear leashes and shit? No. And one of them I... will tend to be minors. <laughs> no, I'm not that on. I wish I was that online. <laughs> this, but unfortunately. This is where I come from as a cosplayer. This is where I come from as a cosplayer. I know about the cosplay the, side of the fandom the as leashes. well, especially. You've seen the leashes. You've seen them. You've seen the yes, danger. Yes, I have. Um, yeah, I have. I've only seen it like once personally. It's kind of died down, but it's kind of what the fandom's renowned for. But honestly, the My Hero fandom, like in comparison, isn't as bad as like some other fandoms. Like uh, a lot of you may get a little bit triggered when I say this, but um, Homestuck we've got. Um, and one in particular that I remember is the Voltron fandom back when the excuse reboot me, was on Netflix. Excuse me, there was a um, Voltron fandom? Yes! Oh. When the reboot came out on Netflix of Voltron Legendary Defender, which I watched very avidly and I was part of the fandom, mind you, um, it 100% had quite a bit of a toxic fandom at one stage. Yeah. Um, where people eventually got to the point of harassing the writers. Uh, mind you, the show unfortunately ended in a pile of dog shit. Um, <laughs> to put it mildly. But surprise, surprise, they're doing a new season. Um, they're, they're bringing a new season to like four years or something, or a couple of years. Oh no, it might have been four. It might be like three or two wow. years or something. Um, but they're bringing out like a ninth season, but the eighth season ended very oh, wait, poorly, and were, a lot of people weren't happy with that. Se- there were eight seasons. <laughs> Yeah, there were eight seasons of this. Dog, I'm not. A, I am. There were eight I am not of Voltron. An on, I am on, not an online being. I uh, sometimes I like to think I'm online. I sometimes I like to think I know it's what. But nah. <laughs> there was a Voltron fan <laughs> that can support a show. There was a Voltron eight fan. Years. Well, uh, I'm not on. Uh, I'm not as online. Oh, it wasn't, as it wasn't eight years. It was eight seasons. But they did um, multiple seasons a year. Yeah. It was, Ah, uh, yeah, they, I'm pretty sure they did multiple seasons a year. Craziness. I'm um, sorry, from continue. what I remember, Vol- it wouldn't have been eight years. I'm sorry, continue. The Voltron <laughs> but, um, fandom. Yeah. Wild yeah. out in the street. The Voltron fandom was, it was absolutely wild. And like, don't get me wrong, I still like aspects of Voltron to this day. And like, a lot of the characters are pretty cool considering the source material it came from. But goddamn, some of the people in that fandom went absolutely crazy like you got the sh- the shippers that went absolutely like mental that their ship yeah. was not canon all you gotta, all you gotta say um, is it had shippers and, like, stop and that that already explains that's already a, a exactly sign. those of you who fandom likely know about um uh clans as the ship was called um uh that was like the most popular ship between uh two of the main characters um and everybody wanted them to get together uh, spoiler alert for those that didn't watch the show. They, did. they didn't. They never did. Um, they didn't get together. Did. They queer in the very end of the season. Um, they finally ended up, um, like, proving that one of their characters was actually gay and they confirmed him to be okay. gay, which was great. Love that. Um, except for the fact that the fiancé he had was killed in war and he married a random guy at the end of the season. Um, and nobody knows what the fuck happened. So they were just kind of like, damn, this shit performative as fuck all kinds of mad um, but that doesn't even yeah but that doesn't even get me into the people that um you know kind of shipped the ships that weren't meant to be shipped like the minor and the adult um okay, that they weren't supposed to do okay, well hold on oh, yeah. 
people still do it. Don't get me wrong. Uh, people still do uh, it. And it's not just Voltron either, but like, particularly in Voltron, they had the tendency to ship <laughs> the adult character, well, a couple of the adult characters, one in particular, who was the gay one with the underage characters, um, which is not great. <laughs> um, and for some reason, they just. Topless type shit. God damn. The, for, and for some reason, a lot of them just didn't realize that was not okay. Despite the fact that it's fictional, co fictional content, um, you know, it's still not great no, to do that. that. It's, um, your internet like, motherfuckers are wild, is, bro. They are so fucking wild. It is ridiculous. That's like, crazy. fucking Voltron. People in the Voltron fandom, like, were fucking crazy the later on in the seasons, especially because they started harassing writers and sending death threats to the producers for not I making feel, the ship I canon. I feel like I may have, I, I may be uh, misunderstanding. When we say Voltron, we mean the robots that connect yes. together? Yes, the robots that connect together, <laughs> that one. This is fucked. That's so fucked. <laughs> that there's not oh, only a high, that there's not only a fandom of a show about the robots coming together, but it had all of this that you've mentioned. That yeah, exactly. It's fucking insane. Like I, I always say this: the first like five to six seasons are great. The rest of it, no. <laughs> it, it ended up getting really shit. That's wild. And it's largely on the fault of not just the fandom, but also the producers themselves that decided it would be a good idea to hire a different writer for every episode, so it had no cohesive plotline anymore. That's that's. that's and people got very mad about yes. that. And so they're obviously trying to rectify it by doing a new season. Wow. God knows I'm probably gonna watch yeah. it just to see what it's like. Although I didn't actually watch season eight. Oh I refuse to, even though I know what happens. This... It's, oh my God, it's That's crazy. But it will never be, I'm... it is a I'm lot. Gonna um, keep it real but you. oh my God. The Voltron fan base, I was like, oh, this will be like a quick little 30 second explanation. <laughs> Oh no, 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 there was a lot to it, but it, it's not as much as some of, like, this is like the iceberg of, like, weird fandoms or, like, fucked up fandoms. Like, Voltron's, like, sort of towards the top, it's kind of in the okay. middle. Um, let's, okay, I did mention Homestuck did, before, though. which is... I did mention Homestuck. Homestuck... All kinds. Oh, uh, it had all kinds of shit. It was, okay, one story that I'm sure if other cosplayers watching this video know, you guys should know the Sharpie infamous bath. story. I don't think, I'm not sure Sharpie if you will. Bath. Yeah, the Sharpie bath. The Sharpie bath, um, we cannot forget it. The Sharpie bath that caused a hun hundreds of dollars of damage to the hotel this person was staying at. Um, or more like thousands of dollars of damage and just ruined it for everybody. It was fucking insane. Like, obviously that's like early Tumblr days. Um, of course, because we can't forget about early Tumblr. Never. But my god, Homestuck was... Home, okay, Homestuck was also, like... Yeah. Okay, it was also filled with, like, you know, shipping, yeah. like, adults with minors and, like, all that sort of stuff. It was not without its fair share I, of incest I, I as well. I have to say, um, only awareness I have for the Homestuck series is the Sarah Z video where she goes through the brief explanation, which is two hours long. That is, yep. that is plain, yep, that's, a, that's how long it really takes. <laughs> which is insane. But also, like, god damn, it's, it's, I, I don't know, half of it makes me feel like, damn, I kind of wish I was involved in an internet fandom because they look so, <laughs> it feels like everybody had to have at least one. Like, everybody had to be, oh, yeah. like, because they were such, and you never got involved in any? No, I, none. Genuinely none. I was too busy being a fan of traditional you know, media. I, I, you know what, that's fair. And God knows that's probably for the best I, that you, like, don't want to be part of yeah. this shit. Because I, I was around where I got to witness, like, some of the Homestock stuff go down. I wasn't, like, super into it until about 2015, yeah. which is when it was in the middle of one of its, like, huge yeah. hiatuses that, like, yeah. Homestock fans will know about the Omega hiatus yeah. that took, I'm, like, I'm ages. And, like, the, the series hiatus. ended in 2016. Yeah. yeah. The series ended in, like, 2016. Um, so, like, I had a heap of time to read it, so I wasn't around, like, a huge chunk of, like, the weird shit that happened, yeah. but I saw a lot of it. The, I the definitely saw thing. a lot of it, and it was, oh my god, it was ridiculous. And the, the de-evolution of Andrew Hussey from being a cool guy to being what the fuck 
fuck is this? Like, the man is a juggalo now. Yeah, he knows he's a juggalo. He's an e-boy juggalo. I thought he turned into a cat boy. Have you not seen juggalo makeup? I thought he turned into a cat boy. Have you not seen out the juggalo makeup? He's like, okay, so like, he he was like an e-boy for like a certain period of time. And then he was like a juggalo. And I was following him on, on Instagram for quite a while. And then I was just kind of like, this is getting weird. I need to like unfollow this guy. It's so, <laughs> so, so weird. That's so funny. <laughs> it, it doesn't. It too, we should have expected this coming because, yeah, like, like that's one or two of the characters in the franchise are based off of juggalos. Like, oh, we should have seen this coming. Fuck me, that is fun. That is very Homestuck funny. Homestuck is just fucking insane. Homestuck it's built insane. Different. Homestuck built different. It really is built different. And, like, the amount of content it has, and, like, God, I remember reading through it, and I still don't understand all that <laughs> happened in the fucking webcomic. Like, Homestuck fans will tell you that they don't fucking know what's going on either. I... And don't even get me started on the bloody stupid epilogues that he decided to bring out yeah. that were Jeez. so oh, yeah, fucking I, weird. Oh, yeah, I heard that they were, like, they were, like so, so bad that, like, half of the people don't even, like, consider them canon. Yeah, exactly. I don't either because they're so fucking weird. There's two endings. You got the candy ending and the meat ending. Oh my and God. I'm pretty sure I went, I started reading through the meat ending and it was so, it, there was a lot of fucked up oh. stuff. Like there was touches on like, you know, unfortunately suicide, um, weird bouts of incest or like cheating or like infidelity. Um, or, and it was just so weird. And I was just kind of like, I and I didn't know, I did not know what was going on. And they like threw in like a non-binary like character in there for like no reason. I was like, what is going on? I could barely understand what the fuck was happening. And like, oh, uh, oh, not to mention like the weird tyrannical uprising there was in the ending that I was reading as well. Like they they had various renditions of like, this is an artist rendition of the face I've been making for the past thirty seconds. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, this is, uh, it's, it's so weird, and d I'm, I'm not even fucking joking, there's a bookstore in the Sydney CBD, which is Kino Kunia. For those of you that are in Australia, go there when COVID's over, yeah. it's a great bookstore, I love it, I get up. all my manga and comics from there. When you're double vaxxed yes, up. Yes, when you're double vaxxed up. The place up. But, like, in, in the last time I went, they, they have an area for, like, comics and stuff, which is yeah. fair enough, they have, like, webcomic, like, hardcover yeah. books. They had home stuff. Yeah. But they also had a copy of the epilogues in hardcover. Oh, God. And I was like, oh my god, I'm kidding it's, me. It's printed they by... had the epilogues in hardcover. Uh, Homestuck is printed by Viz, right? Which I think which so. Is wild to think that an actual big media company that prints like Dragon Ball and other respected Yeah, it's respected media. It's so fucking weird. Yeah, exactly, because Homestuck is not respected. Uh, understandably so, because goddamn, this shit was... Sussy. Oh, oh my god. Very sussy. Very sussy. Oh lord. Oh, that's a noof, man. He just... Ah, oh, it's, it's fine. You know what? It's... I've gotten better at making <laughs> mid-conversation gameplay. I'm, I'm, you, I'm yeah, just... You're doing great, man. I'm just very grateful that we got stuck onto not uh, Chris Chan. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, I'm going to keep talking about the fucking yeah, weirdness you, of Homestuck because you gone, god damn. You got schnutty. You went absolutely brazy with your, with your scathing <laughs> of takedown course. of of internet cultures. And, of and course, it's, it's nothing to respect. Yes, because I've been part of, yeah, I've been part of a couple of internet cultures. Thankfully, like, I know about it, but I wasn't around for it because I was only on Tumblr, like, 2015-ish. Yeah, after, um, that was after the... Like, you know, obviously... Or... After Super Hulock, after DashCon, you know, yes. the ball pit. Please, yeah, you, yeah, you know about I the ball pit. I know about the ball pit. <laughs> thank you, Sarah Z. Good. Thank you, Sarah Z, for teaching me about all these. Link yes. The it's good to just watch videos and find out about internet drama as well, yeah. like, to get yourself, like, caught up on it yeah. all. Like, guys, there's so many videos you can watch on Homestuck and why it's, like, the weirdest fucking yeah. fandom ever. Like, if... Like, Sarah Z, yeah. like, watch her video on Homestuck. Like, it will explain everything a lot better than I can explain. And then watch about how she um, got sued by fuck Andrew Hussey and the, the people making the Homestuck game. That's yep. based. Oh, don't even get me started on the Homestuck I, game. I, That's not even I fucking finished, like, three years after it I came out. I won't get you started <laughs> on the Homestuck game. We, I'm, 
it's all of this conversation is just again i'm i get gladder and gladder <laughs> that i was a traditional media andy I just, you know. Yeah, feel feel relieved that you are never subjected to this kind of bullshit. Honestly, I feel a, I feel a certain bliss knowing fucking... that I I spent my youth just sitting at home playing Pokemon, watching Fast Absolutely. and Furious. Ignorance, ignorance is bliss. Ignorance is absolute ignorance is bliss. Belly and truly bliss. Hey, listen, I'm I'm also glad that there were several fandoms that I wasn't part of, such as the Super Hulock yeah. and God forbid Hetalia, which is wild, which I can't even touch on. Which is wild. Because I watched, uh, what? All right, so hang on. No, Super Who Lock is Doctor Who, Sherlock, and Supernatural. Yeah. Yes. I watched Doctor Who and Sherlock, and I think the only difference, if, if I just, if I had just been on Tumblr, which thankfully I wasn't, even though I, yeah. I dated plenty of girls that were, and I was, I'm very glad I dodged that 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 trap because I feel like it could have been different. Absolutely. Even if it's Gerald, would have been some a different beast entirely. <laughs> Entirely. Literally. Oh god, I can't even imagine it. I can't oh, even this imagine it. Oh, this is the level where you have to, like, guide the... the yeah, you gotta the get the rockets. Bill. The... the bro uh, yeah, yeah bullet bills. I fucking forgot their Hailers name. Come on, come on, come on. Bullet Williams. Sheesh. Bullet Williams? Yeah, this, oh no. Billiams. Oh no. Oh no. Bullet Billiams. Uh oh. You hate to see it. Bonk. Yeah, I hate to see it. You do hate to see it. Just put a... <laughs> the him in the, oh, him in the it, hole. It, he didn't make it! Push him! <laughs> send him to the. Send God him damn, to he did not want to go in the hole. I gotta send him to the abyss. Send him to the shadow realm! To the shadow realm he goes! Oh, Jesus. oh dear. I, I, it's nice to know that my gamer <laughs> skill has just increased throughout this. The, already these few. It's episodes. increased throughout the entire time we've been talking about fucking weird ass fandoms yeah. and other internet drama that's been going thankfully, on. Thankfully, I don't have a lot to say to <laughs> I don't even know what controversies I would get <laughs> yeah. heated up over. Like, I, I don't, I don't know. Like, I, t I don't know. I talk about other, like things I like enough on like the show and like on the podcast. And yeah, of course, that's it's totally calm. fair, man. There's no controversy. I think I've just seen one too many controversies yeah. that like I've like, you know. Controversy is key. Is well, part of been it. witness to. Yeah, controversy is key. Is exactly. Part of it. Like, there were major controversies in the in the I don't know the James Bond fandom. It'd be a problem, but. No, it's calm. Exactly. Movies just don't come out yeah. and then get delayed because of pandemics. So Precisely. As much as we go. A lot of things that are like super mainstream tend to have a lot of controversy around them. Has there been anything? Um, which like, is a shame yeah. because like. Has there been anything that's sorry, like? Sorry, you were say. Has there been anything that's like been delayed as a result of the pandemic that you've been waiting for or like been excited for? Is there any? Uh, well, I mean, to be fair, Final Fantasy Security Breach was one of them. Um. Conventions are one of them as well, I suppose. Um, I miss going to conventions. Well, did, well hang on. Did you, recently... guys, did you guys get to have a supernova before? We got, super, we got supernova. Oh, the supernova oh, controversy. Yeah. I could talk about I that. Walked right in, <laughs> I did walk right into that one. You, did. I you did. walked right into that. Go on. I, I, what, um, right, I, I was loosely aware of this <laughs> because of friends of mine on the internet who are quite savvy journos who are also yeah. big pop culture um, fans. Talk about it. <laughs> exactly. Run us through. The, I, I never witnessed any of the um, controversy of Supernova, but I did go to Supernova and I cosplayed. It was very fun. I got to catch up with friends and stuff, and I was making sure to be very safe because, yeah. you know, COVID. I was keeping socially distanced. Yeah. Um, it's hard to do at cons, but so the, the again, main, congratulations. It is that. hard to do at cons, especially when it's super busy. Like, it was super busy. Um, there was lots of people. But the amount of people that weren't wearing masks um, was ridiculous. Uh, I mainly didn't wear one because I was away from other people. I probably should have worn one anyway to be safer. Um, but I was making sure to keep away from others and not be, yeah. you know, near. Um, super close to people. Yeah. The main controversy from the con, which I didn't see because this happened on the Friday and Saturday. I was there on the Saturday, but I didn't go anywhere near the artist alley. Okay. In the artist alley, there was a booth set up that had a lot of, um, kind of Nazi propaganda. <laughs> okay, um, well, that's... Which was not very good. Uh... It was not very good. And the, the owner of the stall would harass, like, POC people oh, that were going by or looking at the stuff. And, like, even question several people, like, where they were, you know, quote-unquote, actually from. So he's being, like, very blatantly racist. Oh, God. <laughs> and it took... Supernova, like, the whole of the Saturday, like, the store wasn't there on the Sunday. 
but the store had been up for a full day and the night before on the Friday when they were setting up and they didn't think to take it down and it had like you can look this up yourself you can look up the fact that there was like very obvious like um you know conservative stuff like there were shirts that were saying it was stuff about pro gun we don't have guns in Australia Please what do well. Like, we have gun regulation for a reason, yep. okay? Any Americans that happen to see this, we have gun regulations yep, for a reason. And this guy was just such a such a conservative racist that was, like, trying to push his propaganda. And mind you, there were kids at this convention. Yeah. There would have been kids seeing that. And it's just, it was ridiculous. And the lack of, like, um, uh, you know, COVID safety that was enforced yeah. by con staff was ridiculous. Like, sure, they made you sign in. Yeah. We had to sign in, which is fair enough. That's what yeah. we did. But regardless, there was no, like, real, like, social distancing rules enforced or anything like that. There was no enforcing of masks, um, which probably would have been a lot better. And some of the way that the con staff treated people was ridiculous. Like, I have a mutual on Instagram. Um, she was cosplaying as Miruko from My Hero Academia. You, I don't it's know if some of you now. viewers have seen. Wow, look at the yes, yeah, look at that um, character who I definitely yeah. could describe to you right now. <laughs> yes, it looks um, like they but look essentially, like that. they look like that. Yeah, they sure look like that. But um, my mutual was cosplaying as her, and what had happened was that she was in the con for a bit. And one of the con staff, I had seen her walking around the con as well. She looked fantastic. But one of the con staff approached her and essentially told her that she needed to cover up or she would need to leave the con and made her buy an $80 jumper out of her own money to cover herself up. Mind you, it wasn't revealing. She's wearing like a leotard that kind of goes up on the hips. There's nothing wrong with that. There were guys shirtless at the yeah. con, you know? And they had the audacity to come up to this girl and tell her... Like, no, you need to cover I, up. And it was ridiculous. I mean, and I even had a man of mine who had a weapons at weapons check-in, which, yes, it was a metal blade, but it was blunt yeah. and it had a sheath. But they really, when he went to go and get it so he could take photos or something, like a photo booth, um, he got kind of harassed about it and was said that, like, you know, if you take this, we're going to, like, well, in, like, very blatant terms, like, they probably didn't say this outright, but they basically threatened to kick him out yeah. of the con if he took the sword. Like, he wasn't going to be allowed back inside the con yeah. area. And it's just kind of like, raw. That's a lot. <laughs> like it was That's a bra ridiculous. That is a bra moment. Yeah, I I didn't luckily deal with any of that. Like I didn't have to deal with any of the bad stuff that happened at the con. But I was just kind of like, bro, this is ridiculous. I, I, I don't. I, cons seem like I, I get the appeal, but I just like there seems to be so much nonsense. Like. I, I really understand There the is appeal. quite a bit of nonsense. A lot of it revolves around, like, uh, p other people yeah. doing the wrong thing. But this time it was the staff doing wrong by the yeah. people. And, like, thankfully, like, whoever was in charge of the con has now stepped down yeah. or, like, resigned yeah. from his position. And they've got someone else that's come in um, to replace him. And they've got, like, a whole new team or whatever that's all about, like, diversity and stuff like that, which is stupid. I don't know why they didn't have that in the first place, and it seems very performative, but possibly. <laughs> but there looks like there's some change being made. I still need to make a decision on whether or not I will attend Supernova in the future. Are there any other that are just better um, that you can support? Like, are there any... Well, yes, yeah, Smash Comic Con. Um, usually, well, Madman's anime festival is pretty good most of the time. It's a smaller con. Mm. And... I wouldn't say this is a con, but the uh, the Japanese the sorry I can't I can't speak today. The Japanese Matsuri Festival is actually really fun. I went back in 2019, and it's like a nice little festival that celebrates you know Japanese culture. But just to let people know, it's not a convention. So like you know you have to be aware if you're cosplaying to be respectful. It's like inherently about Japanese culture, but. Yeah, from what I know, there's a couple of better ones. Like, Oz obviously, Aussie Comic Con's not the greatest with, like, guests. Um, we've never had the greatest guests in the world. No, because who um, wants to fly halfway around but... the planet for, for us? Exactly. Um, but yeah, I would say, if anything, Smash is a pretty good convention to go to. That's my... It was the first one I went to, um, and it's rather enjoyable. Wow. Uh, uh, respect. But Yeah. I there's there's no uh, there's no better segue for this on the next episode of the show. <laughs> oh damn, uh, less controversy. Special guests? Perhaps? Yeah, less controversy. Perhaps. I I don't know. 
<laughs> we'll we'll find out in the next episode, guys. Uh, don't forget, don't forget to check out the rest of the series hit, that are going on at the moment, like uh, button, hit Stardew that Valley. Bell. Uh, cosp exactly. Give us a like. Oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> Oopsie whoopsie, we did a fucky wucky.